The following program contains graphic content that is not suitable for all audiences. Viewer's discretion is advised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Started going yeah all the time. Pittston, Pennsylvania, a quaint but growing metropolis, best known for its tomatoes. Until March 2019, when a gang known as the Cross Valley Yaw Boys began occupying the territory. It was uh, 20, 2019, uh, me and some buddies, we decided, let's rent a house together, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't say I was excited, but what choice do I have? We started calling ourselves the Cross Valley Yaw Boys. Yaw Boys, slang term for cowboy represented by the popular Wild West exclamation, Yaw. The world deserves to hear this. We're the Yaw Boys. But yeah, man, I mean, we, we moved in and, and just started doing everything together. I had nowhere else to go. The boys were all I had. Every day, every night, every meal. I know the homie Kilo, he, he got into quite the baking frenzy. And, and even me, myself, I, I, I did develop a pretty decent pizza recipe. We had a garden. We even had a garden in the backyard. You know, we were on that organic bullshit for a minute. Organic, relating to or derived from living matter. We were growing any kind of tomato you can think of. Beef steaks, Roma, heirloom, cherry, plum, lettuce, arugula, Swiss chard, kale, pole beans, bush beans, wax beans, jelly beans, <laughs> radishes, iceberg. Is that, is that okay to say on camera? All right. Carrots, uh, we got the radishes, uh, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, garlic, onions, peppers, we had jalapeno, sweet Thai chilies, ghosts, habanero, the basics. We even tried to get a pig, but zoning wouldn't allow it. Riding bikes around town, no handers, uh, popping wheelies, I mean, you name it. I ran a freaking 5k with these fools. I've never run in my life, but I ran a 5k with them. Why not? Board games, video games, you know, Netflix series. Don't get me started on Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Popular television series produced by HBO. The first real riff that we ran into had to be the, the Halloween party. Start of the night, things were going good. Awesome costumes, great snacks. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we came to find out that it was a little too good to be true. I knew you guys would bring that up. It always comes back to the Halloween party. Unfortunately, when things are going good, you know something sinister must be lurking under the surface. So let me just break it down like this. We got together, we made a plan, we had this great idea, all right, get all the homies together, get all the ruffians around, let's get crazy, let's get wild, costumes are on fire, I made a hell of a freaking cheese platter. Going well, we're partying, we're having so much fun, and there's Step, and he comes up to me, and he goes, that's a great farmer's outfit, he said to me. It's cool, you know, whatever, and I'm just like, hey, I'm actually Forrest Gump. And I lost it. I'm very, very invested in Tom Hanks. What that man has done for our generation has brought something out of me that I don't think anyone ever could. My own mother. She can't bring that out like Tom Hanks brings it out of me. You lost his mind. The, the party came to a screeching halt, just ruined the entire night. He was a one-man wrecking crew. I love the kid, but that was just uncalled for. But yeah, I was pissed. It 
solid costume, solid character, who I really invest a lot of my time in learning to become that that night. Brian refers to him as Mr. Hanks. He has a copy of The Green Mile on Blu-ray in 3D. Mind you, it was banned in all 50 states and U.S. territories. The kid's obsessed. One guy could come in, stir the freaking pot. Dude, he wasn't a farmer? You're messing with me, right? Oh, oh. The guy just has no, no respect. I lost all of my respect for him that night, I can tell you that. But... I'm sure everyone else is, is telling you they're, oh, this is what happened. Brian lost his mind. What's, what's the big deal? But there was reason. Step crossed the line, and I'd rather just move on from that. Yeah, he was definitely a farmer. Next week on Gangland, a live, in-depth interview with Tupac Shakur's hologram.